everybody. James Jones here, Technical Solutions Architect for Nginx. And in our last video, we, we uh, started with a simple basic setup for live streaming. In this video, I'm going to cover a more advanced that will actually um, get you far more capacity for your viewership. And you can always scale this up um, as big as you need it to be. Um, it's We're going to provide a link to the repo, um, either in the blog post or uh, below this video. So you can see how it's done, um, see the template files and things like that. It uses Terraform and Ansible, and it's currently connecting to DigitalOcean. Um, but you can take the files, change the Terraform files for whatever cloud you need. And if you need assistance with it, don't hesitate to ask. But let's get to it, and I'll show you uh, kind of what we're setting up here. And what we have here, I'm still going to use FFmpeg to, as my stream encoder for this example. And then we're going to set up a just a, um, an RTP, RTMP ingest, contr uh, ingest uh, controller. And then that's actually going to push the RTP stream that I'm sending to uh, several different worker nodes. Now, in this demo, we're just going to focus on RTMP playback. But you could incorporate what we did with the HLS and uh, Dash um, dash demo from the last video into this as well to provide uh, more capacity for those type of streaming methods. But right now, for this one, we're just going to focus on the RTMP. And so within the media workers, what, are the, what that's doing is taking the video in and just being available to be as a playback um, node via the media load balancer. So when we do the streaming playback, the client will actually re will actually request the stream through the load balancer and get load balance across these three worker nodes. And um, I've actually set up in the configuration for this to use a hash method. That way, um, the playback stream will stick to uh, the node that it makes the initial request on just for consistency and making sure um, that you stay pinned to that node during the duration of the stream. And we'll, we'll walk you through the configs here. Let's see, where are we? Here we go. So let's just go through the uh, template files real quick. So for the um, ingest node, it's very simple. We have the workers, um, you, you have to load the RT um, RTMP module. Um, we've got the worker nodes, air log, and then we have um, the RTMP server. And we basically, we have application live, live on. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing to all of the worker nodes. This is a little Terraform template and it's got a little code in here for Terraform. But you can see it's basically just taking the private address from that node and pushing to it. And then um, I'm also allowing publish from my IP address, because I have a little uh, thing in Terraform that when I set these up, it dynamically finds out what my external IP address is and adds it to the configuration. And then I'm denying publish and play from it because I don't want anybody playing back from this node either. And then for the uh, worker node, again, it's set up with RTMP and it's set for the same exact settings as for the ingest but we're allowing publish from the ingest node. And you can actually have more ingest nodes for this, if you wish, because um, you, you want to make sure you're naming your, naming your stream so you can have multiple streams on the same application, right? We covered that in the last video as well. But we also want to deny publish for all. So anybody else that's not the ingest node, no publishing from them. And then we're going to allow playback from the load balancing nodes and deny playing back from anywhere else. And so that sets it all up nice and easy. And then I have additional things because I want to keep some stuff because I I'm, I'm, will actually show you the... Uh, uh, we can look at some of the statistics within the dashboard. There, There's a, a default config in here 
that shows you how to set up the API and dashboard, but that only works um, under Plus, Nginx Plus. Um, let's see. And then the load balancing node. So what we do is we don't set the load balancing node as a RTMP. What we want to do is we actually just want to um, act as a load balancer. So we're going to do a stream context and push um, and push the request through the node to one of the worker uh, through the load balancing node to one of the worker nodes. And again, we know the server is going to listen on the same port. And then we have some timeout stuff so we can do some health checking. And then we just pass it off to the workers. So it's not terribly too complex, but this is, it doesn't have to be complex. So this is one of the great things about Nginx is that you can do a lot of very powerful things without it being overly complex. So it's very simple to set up. Um, and we'll walk through kind of, I'll just walk through the main file so you just so we can kind of see what's happening. So I'm just using the set the ingest node. It's the size of it doesn't have to be that big. Um, we're also going to be using the key. Um, there's configuration. Uh, if you follow the documentation, it's really simple. But for setting up your key, SSH keys, um, and then again for the load balancing node, not terribly too difficult, not too bare big of a machine. These are all using Ubuntu 1804. And then, so it's all pretty identical sizing of machines that configuration is very similar. It really comes down. What makes the difference between the machines is the engine X configuration. So it's not, it's not over overly complicated because something like this, you don't want it over comp overly complicated because you want this for capacity. And what we'll do now is we'll um, we'll deploy this, and you'll, as you can see, it'll stand up really, really quickly. Let's go. I just want to go ahead and check something, make sure I didn't leave something running, make something running. Um, but I have set up some convenience scripts. Let's just make sure that there isn't anything in. The terraform state okay so there's no machines there already so good i didn't leave anything up and running <laughs> and so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and deploy this and we'll use the convenience script deploy.sh and what that does it actually goes into the terraform directory runs the terraform plan and then runs the terraform apply and actually within the terraform directory i've created a, a make file and it just does all of the additional uh, things for Terraform, passes the variables. So just to do a plan, you would do a make plan. If you want to apply, do make apply with the auto. I turn the auto approve on for that. And then destroy uh, without the auto approve because you want to make sure that if you're actually destroying, you actually want to do it. So that makes it kind of convenient and easy. Um, the deploy script is really simple as well. Um, it basically, as you can see, goes into the Terraform directory. It init's Terraform because you want to need to initialize Terraform for the first time. Make sure all the modules are installed that you're going to use. Um, then you want to make plan, make apply, and you pop out of the directory. Now I put a sleep in here for 20 seconds because um, what I was running into, it was going too fast. And so I had to put a little sleep in there just so the servers could finish coming up before we went on to running the Ansible playbooks. And the Ansible playbooks are fairly simple. Um, with this, you have, um, with the playbooks, where are they? So we have one for each, each type of node. We have a worker node, LB node, ingest node. And then we also have a default playbook. So if we look at the worker node, for instance, we say that all the ho host workers and the configuration file that determines that is this Ansible configuration, which automatically gets generated based on the um this template here it gets generated by terraform for you now if you don't want to use terraform you may have to do a little bit by hand or take the templates that we have and modify them or that's okay um 
Then playbooks. So for the worker node again, playbook. We have, you know, install the RTMP module. Now these do it directly from the um Nginx plus repos. So to be able to do it this way, you actually will need a um Nginx plus license. But if you follow the methods in the previous video, you can do this quite easily. Or even if you wherever you're making it, you do it once and then take a snapshot of that image and then redeploy that. But this is just for, you know, if you have Nginx Plus license, which you can contact us right now. And we're, we're doing some stuff for uh, while the COVID stuff's going on. Um, and there'll be links in the description below or in the blog post this is attached to on how to do that. Um, and then we install the configuration for the worker node. And then we run the default Nginx uh, playbook. Or the, I'm sorry. No, this is reload. We want to reload here. Got to fix that. Uh, not, we don't want the default playbook. We want reload Nginx. Sorry. Uh, found a mistake. Um, and then what the reload does, it just make sure that nginx is reloaded after applying the configuration um with the lb club playbook similar thing it runs the default which again in the default it installs the some packages a lsb release it's some certificates it creates a um, certificate uh, directory for storing the uh, certificates that we use to provide access to the nginx plus repository um and copies the certs over so if you for if you're going to use it just the way it is the access certs that you have will need to go in the certs directory in the repo they never get their um they're not in the repo or anything like that you'll have to add those because those are um tied to specific um licenses um and then it installs the nginx um signing key then it adds the um, nginx um, app configuration and then it adds the repo then we install nginx plus and then we apply the default configuration now So now for the uh, ingest node, it actually, this is where installs the RT module because we, we pre-compile them for our customers. So they can pull them down really easily. Um, and then it puts the ingest config and then reloads. So you can see it's kind of pretty much identical across the board for these. Um, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is let's just look at the uh, Ansible configuration real quick. So here's the IP address for our LB, our ingest, and our worker nodes. So what we're going to do is um, outside of this repo, I've actually created um, a stream.sh, which easily makes it so I can stream. So I just need to swap out, copy the ingest node here. Put it in my stream script. And save. And so let's go ahead and start the stream. Hmm. Action time out. Why is that timing? I figured out why, why it's not doing it. So let me didn't copy and paste the whole address. Eight. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we're streaming to the ingest. Now, if I take the uh, IP address of the load balancer, we all be here. 
And then we're just going to fire up VLC. Network stream. Make sure we got the load, right, load balancer address, which is this one, copy, paste. Yep, there we go. Live slash PBB. And away we go. So now the cool thing about this is you can actually with this you should be able to um have up the you know maybe up to double or three times as many viewers as you were able to have through the simpler demo but again this is a more comp a little bit more complex setup it does cost a little bit more to run so keep that in mind if you do decide to use it but i hope this has been helpful thank you for watching and i hope you guys stay um stay uh healthy and safe